Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And this is a very important video on a topic that I think um, a lot of people will find helpful. It is how to lure and kill the CC in the corner of the base. And this is mainly for 10v11, but can apply to any town hall level. The reason it's typically 10v11 is because it takes a quite a bit of time. And for a three star attack, you oftentimes don't have that much time. So it's often used for two star attacks, uh, such as 10v11. But uh, this is a very important technique to learn. So we're gonna go through various CC compositions, um, Lava Hound, Baby Dragon, Witch, Valk, even some other uh, more weirder combinations in the CC, and how to kill it in the corner with a simple Baby Dragon, Poison Spell, and a handful of Archers and Minions. So let's get right into it, starting with a first attack. Um, it's a good example here, actually my own attack. And for this one, the I'll go ahead and hit play here. The CC lure is often done with a funnel. So at 10 v 11, you're going to try to funnel um, on one or multiple sides and then send a force in for the town hall. So funneling is a huge important part. It gets you percentage and it helps force your main push of troops towards the town hall. Um, that's kind of basic stuff. So while you're creating that funnel before the eagle is activated, oftentimes you can slip in a few hogs because otherwise the CC is pretty well defended. It's difficult to get troops in range of it to lure it out. But during the funnel, you can slip a few hogs in often and kind of just piggyback on that funnel you're already creating. So it's a nice little um, way to get that funnel created for only 10 troops or get the CC lured for only 10 troop space um, as part of your funnel. So the CC comes out. Let's talk about how to kill it. If you have the first scenario, we'll talk about more later, but we're gonna start with the witch's baby dragon, sometimes a valk or two. But the main things are the baby dragon and the witches. These are tricky, so it's probably gonna be the most complex when we talk about. What you have to do is, once it's lured, you have to drag it to the corner with, um, you can start with archers, but minions. Minions are important because they're gonna leave the skeletons behind. You don't want the skeletons getting in your way. You want it just to be the air targeting stuff that walks. So the archers, the witches, and the dragon, and the baby dragon, however many of each there are. So you want to bring them into the corner with the minions. That's why you need like two to three minions to drag them into the corner. Um, this way you're separating these important things that can uh, harm your baby dragon. Now, once you have them semi-separated, it's important you drop the poison first. Don't drop your baby dragon, drop the poison. Now you'll see the troops will start to move away from it. Then you drop your baby dragon. That way, um, the, the, you, there's no like problems trying to get the poison down right after your baby dragon. They're in the poison, and that way your baby dragon's gonna take much less damage. So right here, the witch is gonna walk back towards the poison. The baby dragon will keep them all in the poison. You want to target your baby dragon onto the other baby dragon. Um, if there are multiple baby dragons, that might be a little bit complicated and a little bit more difficult, but because they do less damage when they're near other air troops, it should be similar to only facing one baby dragon, but you might need multiple troops. But typically it's very rare we see multiple baby dragons. It'll typically just be one of them. So you're gonna drop your baby dragon to attack the other baby dragon. So that's what we did here. And you can see it dies. Then next, if you did it right, your baby dragon should target the witches. Now the witches, if you have a max poison spell, will be killed by that poison. So you don't necessarily have to have your baby dragon kill the witches, but if they're outside of the poison for a short amount of time, it won't do enough damage to kill them. So it's important your baby dragon targets the witches anyway, just for security. Now once everything's dead besides the ground uh, troops, you use an archer to pull over the Valks, the spawned skeletons, and any other ground troops left in the CC that were not pulled over by the minions. Oftentimes the residual poison spell will kill them, but if not, your baby dragon's sitting there, it's not taking any damage, it can finish them off as well. So that was a pretty good example of how to do it. Let's take a look at another attack that isn't the best example. Um, it's the same type of deal. You have the baby dragon witch combination in the CC. It was lured out by balloons, which is definitely something you can do. Use loons to lure it out. Just keep in mind it won't lure out any uh, non-air targeting troops, but in this type of CC composition, um, which the attacker might have already known it was this type of CC, um, everything in there can be uh, lured out by balloons because they're all air targeting. So the main problem is he uses archers to lure the 
CC over into the corner, which isn't the best thing to do. Um, it's doable, but it's not the best idea because the skeletons will get in your way. And if your baby dragon starts targeting skeletons, it'll get taken out before it can take out the important things like the baby dragon and the witches. So um, the witches are lagging behind, which is also not very helpful. Um, so he drops the uh, the baby dragon before the poison spell. So the baby dragon, I think, targeted a f like a few skeletons first, which means it gets really low on health right here um, to the point where the witches are able to take it out. So that was the difference. He did two things that aren't the best. He lured the CC with um, minions, which caused the skeletons to get in the way. Then he dropped the poison spell after he dropped his own baby dragon, which meant his own baby dragon took more damage. So the witches actually end up killing this baby dragon. Now, that being said, he could have just used an archer or two to keep them in the poison spell because somehow he had a second poison spell. Um, it just worked out that he was able to bring two of them. So he does not need to even drop this second baby dragon that he ends up dropping. It may have just been kind of a panic baby dragon. But if he just kept those witches in the poison spell, I think a level four plus poison spell can take out those max witches if you keep them in it for the entire time. So... All we had to do was keep them in it, but he went ahead and dropped the baby dragon anyway. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. Use an extra 10 troop space, but he may have wanted to also create a funnel up here um, and take out some of these buildings, which is why he dropped the baby dragon. But the, the main point is uh, for this for this replay is don't uh, don't do those two things that I pointed out. But besides that, um, this ended up being a successful attack. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, I'm getting a little bit shameless here by showing my own attacks uh, multiple times, but honestly, um, these are some of the only ones uh, that we have access to that are still in our war log um, that I'm able to use. So, um, that, that had this CC composition and this type of CC kill. This one actually had a Valk in it, which was kind of uh, kind of interesting, um, something you see, and uh, just a few hogs to lure it out. In terms of learning the CC, if it's just that easy, there's no possible Teslas um, because there's no space for them. Just drop two hogs in that archer tower, got it lured out. It's very tricky though because this air defense is covering almost the entire top of the base, but there is a little bit of room by that statue to drop a baby dragon, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. So I go ahead and drag it to the top here. Um, a few of those goblins, because they're so fast, did get um, out in front, and they're a little bit in the way where they are right now. So that kind of complicates things. The witches will often lag behind, and you don't have enough minions to actually draw the witch all the way up to the poison spell, which can make it a little bit tricky. So let's go ahead and see how this works out here. Um, poison first, and then baby dragon. Fortunately, the witch walks up very quickly. So she's in the poison spell within a few seconds, and the baby dragon will finish her off. So oftentimes you can kind of cheat and drop the poison before the witch is even in it, um, as long as she walks up towards your baby dragon and towards the poison spell, one of which will, one of which will take her out. Now, a rookie mistake here, I'm using my queen for the funnel on the top of the base. I did not see that Valk that was still up. The baby dragon can take it out for free, but I mistakenly drop my queen too early, and she gets one shot from the Valk, but not that big of a deal. Um, I th I'd say another pretty good example of how to do it there, and uh, remember to drop the poison before your baby dragon, and to if you can if afford the, uh, if you can afford the troop space, bring the minions. They're better at luring those uh, baby dragons and witches. Uh, the archers are going to kind of complicate things and make it more difficult because you'll have goblins and skeletons and other like Valks, other ground troops that run up as well, which get in the way and can possibly distract your baby dragon, which should be focusing on the important stuff that can target it back. So keep that in mind. That's that for this CC composition. Let's take a look at some different uh, compositions you might encounter in the clan castle. So the next one we're going to talk about is a Hound Loon CC. Uh, this was recorded on the developer build because I couldn't find any replays. Um, Hound Loon CC is becoming less popular, but when you do see it, it's a very simple uh, kill. So we'll go ahead and just show one replay. Not a whole lot to talk about. Uh, once you lure it out, you want to use archers. Now, if you have a good anchor, and uh, check out how sweet that anchor is. The archer tower barely can't reach. 
Um, it makes it easy with one archer, but you want to have a few archers in case there's nothing to latch on to. It might take a few archers to get the hound in the corner out of range of any defenses. Then once it's safely in the corner, just go ahead and drop your baby dragon on it. You can drop it even as the archers are still alive. It won't make a difference. Just make sure while you do this that you uh, don't do anything else as the baby dragon is killing the lava hound. Don't drop like a wizard for a funnel because it will move the lava hound away. So you can do loons, you can do minions, you can do any air troops, but you can't drop ground troops because that will cause the lava hound to start running away from the baby dragon because it targets uh, ground troops. So keep that in mind. Now one little trick I did you can see is I dropped an archer, an additional archer, directly under my baby dragon which caused the balloon to get in range of that splash damage. That's a good thing to do is to uh, bring that balloon very close to the lava hound so it dies to the splash damage but it's, it's not a big deal if you don't it'll otherwise die to either the poison spell or after all the pups are dead the baby dragon will take out the balloon as long as there's no other troops deployed no other ground troops are deployed uh, the balloon will just sit there and your baby dragon will take it out in, uh, later on so that works as well but notice right here as soon as the lava hound is about to pop maybe a split second before it uh, pops, and you want to do it before, don't wait till you see the lava pups to do it, drop the poison spell on the shadow of the lava hound, not on the lava hound itself, but where it's centered, which is on the shadow of it. Very important to drop it on the shadow. Right here, I'm going to do that. As soon as it's about to pop, um, boom, poison spell, maybe even a tad late, but it actually worked out fine. I dropped it basically as the hound was exploding, and because I dropped it directly on top of the shadow of the lava hound, look, pretty much every pup goes inside that poison spell. Very important, don't drop your poison early, because it'll, ma it'll make the lava hound start running away from the poison spell, and when that happens, it'll get off-centered and the pups won't all die. So don't drop it too early, drop it just before it's about to split and once it does um, most pups should be in the uh, the poison spell and if a few aren't it's not a big deal the baby dragon will kill them just make sure that the majority are otherwise they might kill your baby dragon and you'll need to drop additional troops to kill the remaining pups so you can see how many hit points my baby dragon has left um, pretty good stuff and uh, let's take a look at one more example not of this but of a different CC because sometimes you guys encounter dragons and let's talk about how to kill a dragon type CC a big dragon not a baby dragon let's take a look all right here we go um, same CC lure and oftentimes it's just gonna be three loons but I went ahead just to make it even more difficult and to show you guys it's very doable, I put a wizard and an archer instead of a third balloon just to add to it. And sometimes you got to be creative now. Um, this is not a common CC, at least for what I see. But if you do get this, it's very easy. Um, first of all, you got to kill the small stuff like the wizard with that poison. It does too much damage to allow it to target your baby dragon. So you're going to go ahead and just kill the wizard with the poison. If you if you have a few archers, this is when you might have to dig into some of your little uh, troops to snipe buildings if it's a 10v11 attack. Um, keep that wizard inside the poison spell, which I do. Sometimes they're stupid, they go the long way, and they die. Now watch, drop the baby dragon to target the dragon. I dropped another archer or two to distract that dragon, but a poisoned dragon does very little damage because it's so slow. The baby dragon will take it out, even if the dragon starts targeting your baby dragon as soon as you're... Um, as, as soon as you drop your baby dragon, they both fight each other. As long as the dragon's being poisoned, you should be fine. A poisoned dragon cannot kill a regular baby dragon, assuming all the wizards are already dead and um, the baby dragon targets the dragon right away. So as long as you make that happen, you should be fine. But most of the time, you won't even have to worry about a wizard. You can just do the poison and it's a very similar kill to the first... Um, CC kill that had the baby dragon and those witches, which is probably the hardest one, which is why I spent the most time on it. But I hope this video helped. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.